Tootie, I started the um, Venus Uni in Tay. They did some job at a, a factory for doing tool works. And I got a job in a computer factory where they knock down all computers and reach to sell and sell them over eBay or something. Mm-hmm. And next person. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how did you first become involved in Tui? Well, Mum went to a meeting a couple of years ago and um, I was in uni at that time or something. And um, I just came home and Mum told me about Tootie. So when I first came to Tootie, well, this with his say and nervous and had to speak and and I made new friends and a couple of days later. So it got better? Yep, good. Yeah. And um what has it meant for you to be involved in Tootie? Um well my Love two D so much. Mm-hmm. I stay there for a couple of years later and I get older and older. <laughs> Can you talk about some of the projects that you've been involved in, Mr. Doom? Well, I might look at paintings, all about movies and cartoons and TV shows and we didn't want going to chop up that we I'd be making like a painting on that. What about your grant when you went to? Um, oh, I have. Um, you went to the Czech Republic. You presented at a conference. I went to the um, Prague. It's a um, near the UK. And I just went to the UK to talk about um, my what we do at two years. And do you know who those grants were through? Did you help write those grants? Name is. Wixon, Wixon have quite. Oh, like Richard Llewellyn. Yeah, oh, Richard yeah. Llewellyn. Arts and Disability Trust. Arts and Disability Trust. Arts and Disability Trust. Arts and Disability You know, we did a performance in Clare with that same grant, that same funding. I think that was a show with you called Travelling Life. So it's a really good uh, source of funding for disability arts groups. And, um, and it says here that you um, got to make a 10 minute film with animation for one of those. Yep, you will see it after we the old talk. If we, can get, if we can get that to work, yeah. <laughs> if we can get it to work, I go back my cat and me, travel in time and space to the world, and also me to um, America and India and France and UK and... Yep. Yeah. So you got to show it around the place? Yeah. Wow, that's a fantastic one. That's great. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. answering those questions. Are you going to pass the microphone on to that man next to you? Yeah. And what's your name, young man? Liam. Liam. Where do I know you from? I don't know. <laughs> um, so Liam, how did you get involved in the Sit Down Shut Up <coughs> Watch Festival? Well, um, um, I got told um, about it by Sarah through the, um... By Sarah? Yeah, yeah. by Superstars, yeah. So, how's it been? Yeah, it's been alright. Yeah. So what have you done with the sit-down? Well, I made a bit. Recently, I've been told to do it like media stuff, like sharing the film screen and all that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, well, I was known as MC Grilled Cheese. Brandon was known as MC Chad Cheese, and together we were called the Cheese Brothers. <laughs> <coughs> and I seem to remember you finding the word um, fish rather amusing. Yeah, right. back in 2008, 2009. Yeah. A lot of the use of the words fish and cheese. Not, Not sure of the connection. <laughs> So, um, would you recommend um, young people getting involved? Because you're also working in the community too, aren't you? You're still at Sanders, are you? Yeah. Yeah. So, you want to tell us about your, your day job and uh, your week? How, how's your week work? You, you work at Sanders every day? or you... No, I only work at Sanders. Um... Sanders is a hardware company, I think. Yeah. Um, well, I work there Wednesday, a full day, and Friday, a half day. And it's um, pretty cool, the, the nice bunch of people working there. So whenever I need help, I just ask them and then they'll help me out. Um, and then if I'm looking for something to do, I just walk up to one of them and ask them or whatever. Cool. Um, thanks, Lynn. Thank you. Um, we're just having a last go. What, what, what part is it working? Organise a data show. A data show. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. Come up with it. I think I, I came in early to see that, especially in the work. It's all working. It's all working. It's all working. That's a program. Anyway, we'll, we'll see if we get one. We might have time to watch some stuff. Um, so, Liam, do you want to pass on to Matt? Thank you, Liam. So Matt, how did you um, how did you first become involved in sit down, shut up, and watch? Um, well, it probably starts uh, a few years back. Actually, um, when I, I um, I've had a bit of uh, experience uh, with um, uh, acting and performing. I've done uh, professional dance performances on the Majesty Theatre stage. Um, and I was uh, performing something I really loved, and uh, people knew that. And um, uh, I found out about superstars from Paul, um, who were doing a uh, performance at the time, and they asked me if I wanted to be there, uh, take part in that. Um, during practices for that, I turned up one day to superstars. Um, and there was a group there uh, like us called Oscar Bright um, and that's really where it started uh, for me. Um, I really enjoyed that workshop that we did. Um, you'll find out more about Oscar Bright during the presentation. Um, but um, yeah, that's where it really started for me um, after that. Um, <laughs> yeah, after that I just, I was invited to 